Next episode, we got the legend, Whip Wild himself. Oh, before we switch, let's not forget Bro Fire God songs, Max Jr. Five, Take Me, Take On Me by Aha, Viva La Vida by Coldplay, Bohemian Rhapsody Queen, This Time, John Legend, and Let Me Fly. <clears throat> and again, Max Julian is on track uh, eight, Johnny P Forever. Uh, it start is 5-10. He killing the game for Sir Michael. Mama's here. Um, so Wick Wild next. Wick Wild is on Streets Keep Calling, track 24, with uh, Danny Boy and Philip Martell and uh, Nikki Bamboo with the poem. Um, that's track 24. Wick Wild verse starts at minute 311. So let's go there. When they figure my name, I'm gang affiliate, Aaron distributor. With the bitch ass dug, you and grind the current. Took me off the block, traded the block for a mock. Like me down 23 and 1. Turnkey cops evade my spot. A fucking ID where I rub my knot, and I think not. Bust heat on police and flee. Ah, be a beast in the streets. Capture me. Double savage three. Where the Lord of Z. You about paper in the bitch. You down with me. Leclerc, of course, where you west side raid me. Holy city made me crazy, vice lord. This is late. Great. Hey! Fuck, we talking about, huh? Yeah. What's good? What we talking What's good, about? Keep good man. man, that was a monster. That's a monster. Danny boy, man, that's a monster. Ain't it, man? Danny boy, son, is hot out. That's a monster. Say what you said when you first heard it in the studio. With blue, what you say? I gotta be on that. Nah. <laughs> what I say? You said I finally got mine mad at. You. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. that was like? What that was like? Hearing that. What? Man. Back then, hearing him make that song, "I Ain't Mad at You" with Pac. Yeah. What that was yeah. like? It did. Now. What? What it was. Man, um, I actually, actually, that's like that was one of my favorite records off the um, uh, All Eyes on Me. Right. That, that um, I ain't mad at you. I love man. I'm like when I first heard that, I could feel his pain. But Danny Boy has so much soul in it. I'm like man, this is crazy. Then I seen him do it live on Saturday Night Live, and I was like man. This is crazy. If I and ever get one, you probably thinking like, man, this dude is from right around the corner. I could walk to where he's from, and how I don't got one. Crazy, right? When the flick, when the flick was recording the final tick, right. right? I used to go to the studio. I used to go to the studio and me, Cole Hart, Boone, and guess, and, and Danny Boy used to be in there with us. But guess who else? Um, uh, Tupac Boy. Uh, he on he on the joint. Um, uh, he on. No, no, no. Tupac, he, 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 he on uh, right. aim. He on the right. Nah, he on aim. His name is uh, but he's on pain. That's his first. Okay. He, he, he is on that rough life. That's him. He in the studio with us too. And uh, so we used to go. We used to be in the bar with the flick while they was recording that album. All us used to hang out. We used to be over there drinking. Drinking, you know what I'm saying? Playing basketball that's, without no hold on. Without no real ball. That's too much. That's too much, right? We gonna slow yeah. and we just get it off. And we just went right into it because the verse made us do that. We gonna trill back and we gonna go ahead and um we gonna talk about uh we gonna introduce you. So before we start the um I 
I give every artist a Bible verse that I think represents them. So a Bible verse that represents them. Yeah. Okay. DFM, God fearing man. So for you, since it's 118, I came up with uh Isaiah 118. And Isaiah 118 is um come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though as though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Man, give me the the, the, the new living translation version of that. The NLT yeah. of, of 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 Ephesians 118. All right. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Let me hear what that means in modern times. I got you. I can't get to the dial in the day. I got you, I got you. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with the light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called. Mm. No, it's Isaiah. Hold on. I read the wrong one. My bad. It's more powerful because I notice you. Watch this. Watch this. Come, come now, let us settle this, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, I will make them as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, I will make them white as wool. Meaning I, was, I will cleanse you. Though, though you've been done had it hard, God is still going to cleanse all of those sins. So though you may be done, you ain't got to necessarily work. Isaiah 118 represents you to me. I'm going to have to go read that. That's, man, I like that, man. It's nice. Yeah. So with that, since that's the introduction, why don't you tell the people who you are as Holy City with WOW? How about that? Man, I'm Holy City with WOW. I'm a Hamlin boy. I'm from, man, I'm from 16th Street in Hamlin. You know what I'm saying? I was the first artist ever in the Londale community to have a record deal. You know what I'm saying? With a gold single. Booty Bells, 1995, 22 on Billboard. I traveled the world. You know what I'm saying? Rocket shows with like all of us was coming up in the game. Some probably the biggest games, biggest stars in the game, you would know. But um in my hood, I'm a legend. In Chicago, I'm a legend. You know what I'm saying? When I'm mad, this is real. This ain't what I say, this is what the streets say. I ain't got to say that they're gonna tell you that we well a legend. Um and uh so good to see y'all, so good for y'all to see me. I wanna thank nephew for having me on. Uh I do better with questions. So at the end of the day, you the first artist from Chicago to Billboard, huh? Yeah. Uh, Twister, Twister released it in 91. He released it, Mr. Tongue Twister, but it didn't chart. It didn't chart. It yeah, didn't it chart. didn't chart. No, it didn't. You the first to chart, right? It's real. It's real. I chart, right? Billboard. Yeah, I killed Billboard. I murdered Billboard. I murdered the box. I murdered BT. Murdered everything. Yeah. Let's stamp that. So the first artist to from Chicago. Yes. Is Holy Six. Yes. Yes. Say it here first. <laughs> Say it here first. And you got H H booty bound, right? Right. But look, like um. I gotta tell you the story. It wasn't always like HMH or whatever. I started off when I was like um, when I was like ten and eleven. Me and Fresh, we had a rap group called the Baby Floor Rappers, and we was growing up. And I was growing up in Austin. A lot of people don't know this. Everybody think that I grew up on on, on 16th and Avery's, but really that's my grandmama house. Uh, you just gotta go to your mama house when your mama go to work. So. So, you know, I'm spending all my time on 16th Street, but I'm going to school out west, you know, in Austin. Mm. So me and my best friend, Fresh, we had a group called the Baby Floor Rappers. We was the biggest thing in Austin community. We used to represent the Baby what? Flow Rappers? Baby Flow Rappers. Everybody, trust me, everybody know Baby Flow. That's but anyway, um, so... So we used to um, battle against Austin Town Hall. We was in the Farley Park, 
And it used to be talent shows back then. And um, it used to be rap groups called the Windy City Rappers, the Diabolical Force, all these crews coming up. This is like, this is like, it wasn't cool to be a rapper. What year though? What year <laughs> this is? Like, this like 84, 85. Eight, this like 80, 83, 84, 85. But like, man, young. And Holy City right there. We got a representative right there at the beginning of hip hop in Chicago. We got a whole person, the coldest person from the Holy City. I gotta always shout him out. His name was Tyrone Ice Malone. He was uh -huh. the he, he was the dude that showed me the right who used to who? The Malones, they brother, Tyrone. He was the coldest rapper in the holy. He would win every contest. Back then, it used to be contests in the club. You come win the fifteen hundred. You know what I mean? Yeah. What? Ty is the one. I was a battle rapper. Me and Fresh learned how to battle rap, and we used to make battle rap. We used to battle against everybody. We won against. I've never lost a battle. So is that, that why yo, when you rap, your projection is so in your face? When you rap, why you so in it? Because you started a battle rapper. Yeah, I started like a battle. Yeah, I started battle rapping, and um, but it was Tyrone Malone who I used to watch. He used to be Tyrone Malone. Shout out to Danny Lamb, traveler Danny Lamb. He was his DJ. Yeah, and uh, they boy Titty. And man, man, these dudes, these dudes had it. Had it had been any record companies in Chicago, they would have been the biggest things on the planet. They would have been off and running. Wow. But, wow. But this is real. This is facts. Like anybody in Chicago knew no one could mess with Tyrone Malone, bro. Wow. Like he was on the level of, he was on the level of a uh, Rock Him them. You know, uh, uh, BD, uh, uh, BDP them. He was that. He was that. Then. Like he was ahead of that. Wow. And I used to, I used to watch him and go with him. Real he that. told me how to structure songs. This before Booty Bounce. It's way before. Before booty bounce. Wow. This booty bounce. This is like booty bounce didn't come till uh 95. Like like 95. This is like when I'm rolling around with Ty, this is like 89, 90. You know what I'm saying? Adidas suits and you know dookie chains and so, you know what I mean hustling and hugging the block. So the hustle speed up, you you wick wild in the streets, and now you wick wild HMA. Uh, um, why another? Why another one never count? Why what? Why why HMH never chart again? Oh man! So I blew the whole thing up. I blew it up. So so me right? So me, I was from the streets, and I ain't never did nothing since I've been eleven years old. But be in the streets, you know, running running around with. Conservative wife, Lord, this is all I know, right. right? So you imagine, so you imagine at 21 they give me a record deal, right? My man June Tate, shout out to June Tate and Kevin Nichols, right? Hey, June Tate was the one originally that gave you your first deal. Man, look, look, I went to man, the chief of the vice lords got married, PF. I went to a wedding, right? Went to the chief wedding. Right. My homeboy Dag Woods, we used to ride around, rest in peace, Dag Woods. To ride around and we used to be rapping over over the music. And he like, man, you colder than anybody. I'm gonna get you a record deal. Boy, how you gonna give me a record deal? <laughs> and he was like, I know something. You thinking he playing? June was at the wedding. He heard me rhyme. He was like, yo, bro. He's like, come Monday, Monday, man, downtown to this record company. We went down there. No bullshit, man. But he had this shady dude named Marvin down there with him at the time. And I'm like, yo, man, you all right with me, but I'm not working with this dude. So we got rid of Marvin and got him out of the deal. And, man, I was like, but in order to do this, remember, I started with Fresh and Baby Flo. But Fresh was producing music at the time. So hold on. I was going back to Tyrone. Why ain't used to rap with Tyrone? My yeah. 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 That Tyrone, yeah. Tyrone Malone. Yeah. Yeah. He, get the hell out of here. Yeah. That's man, Ty was the coolest. That's just hit me, huh? Because yeah. a lot of people don't know why he was raw with them words. Yeah. Because of Tyrone, too. 
Ooh, Tab was a man, man. Oh my God, he was, man. He would have been bigger than anybody else, man. This is real history. So now look at us to come back and work together and put Street Keep Calling together. All from Tyrone Malone. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy. It's crazy. So what happened? The group now, huh? So man, right? So we got a deal, right? So June was like, you know what I mean? June had, ain't anybody know June. Like, I had never, no, I had never read. The money father, June Tate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, my man Jay, right? Jay had, Jay had, Jay had mad bread, man. I don't like to talk about no other man, you know what I'm saying, pocket. But Joe, when you talk about bread, this dude had bread. So anyway, he tell me, hey, man, I don't really know how to, you know, deal with the rap stuff, whatever, because he had you, man. He had an R&B group. But um, we was learning. So, we, man, we we shopped around. I had three deals on the table. One with RCA, but they wanted me to change my album and take all the cursing out of it. I didn't want to do that. I had a deal on the table with Luke Records, right? I go down there to Luke House, you know what I'm saying? Party and yeah, in Miami, go to Luke House. But guess what? It was JT Money and Dino. These are facts from uh, H-Town told me, don't sign that deal with Luke. <laughs> so where? Uh, yeah, yeah. Who, J who that? Who that? Them, JT Money and Trick Daddy, them had a group called Poison Clan. They was on Luke at the time. They was the only rap group on Luke at the time. And it was H-Town. I'm telling you, these is, man, you can Google all this. I'm telling you, I'm there. And so, and so JT Mike, he was cool, man. You and you know what I mean? He, As a rapper, uh, you like that Brown. You're literally laying and mentioning how holy shit, Chicago artist is literally right there at the start of things. So, yeah. you and uh, uh, DJ Quick, Red Man, yeah. all us, all us, this time. You, all of us. You got them. stories with all of these guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. And, and yeah, we was, young. Like, we was young, trying to come up. We was young, just trying to come up. To come up. So big. big. I spoke that with Big. I tell you a funny story with about Big. That was a Biggie story, man. Look, <laughs> so we on promo tour, right? We on promo tour, right? Where at? Big, it's Big. Let's see these now. And anything right, but big man, he used to wet the blunt up when he be smoking. So I'm like, Joe, I'm from Chicago. Hey, big man, come on, don't like smoking like that, whatever. But big, right, you know, to signify. So he be, come on, come on, come on, shut down. They chill, shut down, right? So we used to signify and be talking about each other because that's what we do in Chicago. So man, big, you know, he busting, but get this, right? You ever see them bumps that be in the back of people's neck? Yeah. Like in the they get their yeah. haircut. Hey, B had a pat. He had them in the back of his head when he get his haircut, right? You know us from Chicago, right? We man, man, get that cabbage patch out your shit. So, but B, man, Brooklyn, so right. So y'all meeting Big and y'all right, man. And y'all Big was cool, man. Hey, Big was cool. La Seasoning was cool. We just met them. We met them at Jack the Rapper. And then after Jack the Rapper, we started doing shows everywhere. You know, we started seeing each other everywhere. Is that where you, you met Pac? Pac, I met Pac. Man, I ain't going to say what he did, but I met I met Tupac uh, twice. The first time I met, first time I met Tupac, he was cool. First time I met Tupac, he was cool. We was at the BRE. We was at the Black Record Convention. This is no press. This is only just people in the music industry. And we at, and it was held in uh, Los Angeles. So, man, you know, me, Fresh Twan, June, we get on the elevator. It's Tupac. Me, I'm I'm a Tupac fan, right, since 91. So I'm like, man, that's Pac. Hey, Pac, what's up, man? He, man, what up, what up? You know, it's cool, this and that. Pac, what the new album, man? Strictly for my niggas just coming, baby, you know what I mean? Whatever. Oh, okay, what you on? Man, I'm trying to get this or whatever. You know what I mean? I got some people going to do something or whatever. We, But, you know, we just all on the come up. It was cool, right? Now, fast forward. <laughs> fast forward. 1994, we in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. We 
be the headliners. It's us, Escape, Scarface, MCA, Tupac, and uh, uh, who else? That's it. That's it. But anyway, hey. all us backstage, all us backstage, me, Scarface, MC8, and then we back there drinking Tango Ray, smoking Swishes or whatever. Now, Face, you know, we, we didn't smoke Swishes. Face the one turned us on to Swisher Sweets, right? <laughs> he from Texas. He turned us on to this. But we, Scarface, Scarface, he the one turned us on to Swisher Sweets. That's hard. That's hard. Back there, so me, MC8, oh, Spice One was with us. Spice One. That's hard. Uh, uh, East Bay Gangster. Shout out to the East Bay Gangster. He a real one. You know what I mean? That's the first dude I ever seen, you know what I'm saying, backstage and had his lady with him. You know what I'm saying? Real. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was about his business, man. Spice One. Big up Spice One. But anyway, we back there. So, man, we back there. We drinking Tango Ray after half a gallon. Me ate uh, uh, Spice One face. We waiting for Pop. This is the first time. He got the record pain. So I want him to see, I want to hear him do pain. By now, Pac didn't start coming up. He, I'm talking he, about he, he, he coming up. He coming up. Like everybody know it. Like he's been a blow. Everybody know it. Like right. he's been a blow. So everybody waiting. Man, this dude come there, man. Oh my God, man. This dude had a backpack on his back full of guns, man. He didn't speak to nobody. Pop? He said he won't nobody out of his dressing room. Pop? I'm like, pop. I'm like, face, what's up with this dude? Face was like, man, I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? What you know what I mean? Face was shot. So we left his dressing room. Now, now, mind you, I'm down here, right? I got, I got all the Grinshaw travelers with me. All, of, uh, uh, I got all of the California travelers with me. I got, I got people from Mount West with me. All us is backstage because we want to see Pac do pain. Right. This is what we do in the street. This dude got on stage, man. He had them guns to everybody, right? And say, man, this was the time they killed Yummy. Yummy had killed like a little girl. Oh, oh you, and then, you was that then they murdered. And the little dude, Yummy, got murdered from the project. Don't you was that that show? Oh, I was on that show. I was on that show. HMH was on that show. Wow. With the booty bounce girls and everything, I was there on that show. Wow. Anyway, I had a big record, boy. What are you talking about? I know. Bill was there. Okay. And so, man, and so, man, right, this dude had out guns to everybody, and guess what he get on the mic and say? What? Fuck me Walking, fuck Chicago. Y'all ain't motherfucking real gangsters. Y'all killing kids. I'm the gangster. Man, the GDs rush the stage and try to mug. Man, look, if Tupac wouldn't have went to jail that night, they would have killed his ass in Milwaukee. Dang. Fact. Ask anybody that was there in the building that night. Wow. Real. Wow. Man, they, they, they look, the only reason, the only reason they did not tell that. Place up is because Scarface came back out on stage. Scarface come back out there, Joe. You know what I mean? That's the only reason. And calm everybody down. Big thing down, man. Wow. But they, they, they took Pac on the jail though. We was, I was, I was hard, bro, bro. I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. The chance to see him perform pain. I did not get. I had man. I was so mad, man. I was hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt, man. Okay. Me and man, look. <laughs> look, right? Man, rest in peace to my homeboy, white boy, Al Traveler. But, man, me and Al, me and Al was standing next to each white. other, right? And I tell white boy, I say, white boy, he ain't going to do nothing easy. He, man, that nigga gone. <laughs> so the man in jail, the GD's ready to tear the damn place up. And you, y'all worried about performing the damn song. <laughs> And, and and look and look, I seen I seen Tupac one more time after that. I seen him one more time after that. That I didn't even go over there. I'm like, man, you know, I'm, you know me. I'm a Chicago. Yeah, he getting he getting killed. Yeah, he now he went to jail after that. He, he he went to uh he called a case he called a case or whatever. Then he went 
you so, know what I mean? So stuff happen. So uh, you before if we uh move on, you how how did the streets play a role in taking you away from being in because that's your graduating class. So you gotta understand, right? You gotta understand. Eleven years old, I joined the Vice Movies. So even so even when I became a man, I was already a vice lord living by these principles and these rules and honoring this thing or whatever, right? right? So in the midst of that, in the midst of that, I get a record deal, right? That man, I, I never, never traveled out of the United States. You know, I had only ever been on a plane like once, you know, to go to a funeral with my family or whatever. Right. So, you know what I mean? The, and then it's like now, Making the music is normal to me. Performing the music is normal to me. That's you know, that's just what I love to do. Right. But my day to day, my day to day was, nigga, we sit at the table bagging the shit up. You know what I mean? Whatever going on in the hood. You know what I'm saying? This is my day to day. This is my life. Right. So, but so now, so you 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 your life, you in the streets, but in the music industry, you on Billboard. Top 20 on Billboard. Facts. Wow. The balance in that is this though. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really like, I don't really like the way this music business shit is. You know what I mean? Well, you know this because you in it. It's smoke and mirrors, right? This, by me being right? from the street, by me being right. from the street, this is a lot of bullshit to me. So, you know, have it eating nigga. Before, before you go there, remember I tweeted you the guy who owned. <laughs> Booty bounce and all that, and we still did yeah. back. I ain't, I'm still standing on that. As long as I'm on this earth, we getting that back because that belongs to the whole. Because that means the very first record for Chicago belongs to Holy City. So out of just rites of passage, they at least gotta allow us to buy that back. Yeah, well, we, yeah, it gotta come back. It gotta come back. But to you, man, you but, know what? I'm gonna tell you something. So, so anyway, right? What made me like so? So we 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 going around, whatever. We doing the shows, whatever. We making money. You know, it, it's growing, it's growing, right? right? But check this, right? Check this. I didn't want Booty Bounce to be the first single. The first single I had on there was called In the Shot. It was a gangster track. I didn't want to release Booty Bounce because I didn't want to be considered as a dance group. I didn't, didn't want that. Mm. That. Did that, that play a role, that. It, did that play a role in dismantling the group afterwards? A big, big part of it, right? Because it was like um, when they was like, um, I was like, man, I don't want no booty bounce. I need to do it in the shack. June Tate told me, he said, hey, man, when people start paying twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for a video, then, man, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, basically, he's saying to me that, nigga, when you spending bread, Nigga, then you got a voice other than that, nigga. Nah. Mm -hmm. But what he didn't realize, what he didn't realize in saying that is that, bro, I come from a two-parent home that always had everything. And, man, I left my home because I wasn't going to let nobody dictate and issue shit to me. Even in the streets, a nigga don't issue none of me. He didn't know this. But I was like, fuck, dude. He don't know. I go back to the block. That. He didn't know it. But he seen because they set up a tour, and I was like, fuck that tour. I ain't going. Wow. All that shit. I blew it up. Fresh and Twine was mad at me okay. forever. But I didn't. But, but bro, it's like, man, bro, so I got to blew it up because you like, I'm not about to be nobody's hope. Like, nah, I'm straight. Like Basically, basically but he didn't know that, you, you know, years later, after we had the conversation, he was like, man, my bad. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't know. You right. know what I'm saying? But like, Jay is good. That's what played a role in just making sure. That was, me. that was me, but check this out. I had a better plan. The dude who shot the Booty Bounce video, right, he wrote a movie about his nephew was a rapper in New York, right? He wrote a movie. He gave me the script. He said, man, I want you to play this. His nephew, I'm reading it. I'm like, oh, man. Right. He was like, I got the budget for it. He, I'm like, man, Joe, a movie? I don't care. Let me shoot a movie. Yeah. This is what my plan was, though. This is what my plan was. Because I had met 
Red Man and Keith Murray them and smoked out with them at Jack the Rapper. I knew they was in Jersey. I'm like, yo, I get out there. I knew Eric Sermon produced. I knew he make beats. Mm. I knew I knew Reggie and Keith at least he give me some beats. You know right. what I mean? Right. My plan was my plan was to do the movie while I'm in New York. You know, I don't really know nobody in New York. I just know a, a Red Man and uh, Keith Murray them I had met and smoked. Hard with it, kicked it with it, jacked the rap. I knew big, you know what I'm saying? Look, see, man, you know still, what I mean? Still in, you still in, but so, so I was gonna go shoot the movie, whatever, right? And give me and and, a, and, and make a solo album, right? To get away from under, to get away from up under they thumb. I was gonna do the HMA stuff because they're my boys, but my plan was to get shoot this movie, man, this dude. Hey, this dude Mike Jefferson, he was the, he was running things at the right company. He trying to block my movie deal, bro. Dude trying to block my movie deal. Anyway, long story short, the dude who, who shot the video, he died. Dang. Dude died. Get the fuck out of here. That's what happened. Dad, man, I was crushed. Listen to me, man. I was crushed. Dude died, right? Like, man, um, RP. I believe it is, right? So I'm like, man, I felt stuck then. I felt stuck. I'm like, man. You just blew up HMAs on the billboard thing. So then you sort of phase it in the Sloto product and the guy who's going to spearhead that just died. Wow. Man. I was mad. I was what I ain't well, what happened, huh? Damn, that's crushing. I was like, man, I was like, Fuck this music shit, bro. Like, man, because I felt like... Because now you bro, can't go back to June Tate now. No, nah, I'm still... I mean, so I'm still left. But now, you know what I'm They know how but you I'm, feel, though. But, but, but I'm drinking more. Uh, I'm uh, drinking more. I'm wilding on tour. Uh, I'm just... I'm crazy. You know what I mean? They like, this nigga crazy, but they don't know why I'm crazy. Why? Wild. I'm wild. Everywhere we go. <laughs> Quick, so is that the mode that made you uh, go there with DJ Quick? Yeah, I don't want to really get into it about me and Quick at the, at the Jack the Rapper, but I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? too, because he getting into it with Dre, right? So the no, 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 no. He was into it with eight, and I asked him, and I asked him, I say, spit a rhyme. He say, I don't spit no rhymes. I'm like, Joe, I'm from Chicago. Joe, anybody a rapper, they spit rhymes. He say he don't spit no rhyme. I used to keep a box cutter with me or whatever, right? I up it. I say, hey, man, fuck you, then he's he, man, man. I'm like, man, so we walked away. <laughs> we all on the other side. Now he wanna say, nah, I ain't no, I ain't no, you know what I mean? I ran my man, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? He was trying to act brand new, but none of us didn't really have nothing though, bro. None of us had nothing. Cool after that. So when you said June went on you like that. Did that play a role in like all of the people who was who was at the booty bounce uh, video shoot? No, you know what? Or when when the, or was the city just really rocking with the city? Y'all had we had the whole city, man. Remember, we had been baby flow rappers since we like ten years old. So all those people came. The whole city. I mean, man, I'm cool with everybody. Leclerc Court, Chicago Avenue, mm -hmm. uh, 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 over all. Oh, or, or, over there by home and where the souls at, where the unknowns at, where the, where the GDs at, Jackson, California, where the, you know, the whole city, bro. And everybody showed up, and I couldn't believe it. Wow. The whole, man, we had Miller's Meadow. You couldn't get a car now, but no, you couldn't even see the grass. You said Kevin Gar I just saw Kevin Garnett was there. You said Randy Brown was there. Kevin Garnett, look, check this look. out. Check this out. Kevin Garnett and Ronnie Fields was in high school at the time, right? My man, Dag Woods, he loved him so much, right? He figured they going to the league, whatever, right? He said, man, I put them in the video we well. You got all this NBA players. Hey, June Woods Tate. Pat. Huh? And this yeah. The one who passed. Wow. Yeah. Man, man, rest in peace, Dag Woods, man. I would never have a record deal if it wasn't for him, man. This is a lot. But, that changes. Right, dad got mad, right? Cause June Tate, June Tate got all these 
he got all the NBA. You know, he don't hang out with number NBA players. So he he had he had Charles Oakley, he had Pete Myers, he had Randy Brown, he had uh, that's uh, all who in the video. My man. My man uh, uh, from Miami, he saw Miami. Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. Uh, West May uh, Man, just everybody in the NBA, they all in there, right? So they in the video. So Dag, like, hey, man, put Ronnie and, uh, and uh, uh, Kevin in the video. I'm like, yeah, yeah why not? And KG hey, right. busting the ass. Hey, look, KG, right? They was, they was like, man, supposed to just be, uh, oh, man. just, you know, around playing around man that she turned it into a full-fledged yeah. game Ronnie and kevin I, I know these nba legends i ain't you know I, mean? I know y'all nba legends i'm taking nothing away from nba legends and champion but they could fuck with kevin so, <laughs> they could fuck with you and ronnie Ooh, and they was already in the league and he out there busting they, they, they was in the league and he kevin yeah that neck was fucking them boys up what <laughs> They were fucking and him and Ronnie. And they had Michael Herman out there. <laughs> wow, real history right here, GFL. Huh? Wow. wow. You, you, you chopping up, huh? You chopping up. This shit glitching. It's going up and down. It's, it, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Nah, what you say? I think so. Let me see. Huh? Nah. Uh. Hold on, you might have to pick that. It just, it just stopped. Pick up. No. It just stopped picking you up. Need this history, it shows us stop right there. God damn, it's, it's stopping. It's stopping. You're going to get your earpiece. I hear the shuffling, so I think the mic worked. We hear the shuffling. What'd you say? Can you hear me? Yeah. It it ain't it ain't good how it was though. It, it ain't oh, we don't hear nothing. We don't hear nothing. Hang up and hop back in. I'm I'm finna uh play the record while you hop back in. Technical difficulties. Give it a second. Ooh. Real legendary Holy City Wick. Wow, what are we talking about? I just put that together while I was studying this. I was like, wait a minute. So I know Twister then was out first, but at the end of the day, that means the first to chart is from the Holy. That's what that means. That's big. That's real big. And that's something to stand on right there. Yeah. Yeah. The streets keep coming. Put some heat on this brain. Make account clothes and gang. When they figure my name. Hair on the scribby ass. You would run a good turn. Man, what's up with these views? Man, we was cracking it with that interview. One with y'all. Yeah, we got to get that back going. Hold on. Holy City, Vice Lord. Hey. 
Damn, dude. You ain't got no earpiece. Ah, history. Hey. It's the algorithm. Blame the algorithm for making history. I can't hear nothing. Have to call back again. Uh, you hear me now? You ask you right now. There you go. There you go. I'm in the hood. I'm in the hood for real. There you go. There you go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to get home at the gas. Hold on. Nah, there we go. I got you. We're back. We're back. I got you. I got you. We're back. 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 Yeah, we were just sending it up. We just lost everybody. Watch this. Cool. Watch this. Cool. Watch this, nephew. Watch this. What, what, what? That's that, that's that, uh, what they say, blame the algorithm. It shut him down again. That, Nephew. That, yeah, yeah. I'm here. All right. You you good now? Yeah, we good. We good. We good. We good. Hold on. We good. We, Hold on. We good. We Hold on. Hold on. Can you, now you can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me see, because I can't hear myself. All right, we, we should be good now. Okay, bet. Let's get it. Well, let's pick back up with Leclerc Courts. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can hear you, but you sound so far away, and I don't know why. Hold on. We give All right, I can hear okay. you. Okay. We good? Huh? Wait a minute. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, well, pick. Let's pick back up with Leclerc Court. All right. I see already though. We gonna have to mess around and move the show to YouTube though, cause YouTube, uh, face. I mean, Instagram keep messing with us. Man, for some reason you sound low, man. Some reason you sound low. Well, let's do. The best. Can you turn your volume up. Huh? Let's do the best we can on that and just go because we can hear you loud and clear, huh? I got my volume all the way up, too. Let me see something, man. What's going on? I can hear you, though. Okay. Okay, I can hear you. I can hear you, too. So, so let's pick back up with Leclerc Courts. What's up? Let's talk about, about it. it. What, 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 what role that played? in the journey so huh so 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 you mad not mad so but you you peeping the game and you like man i can not do this music industry shit so you like i right, i'm finna go back to the block yeah i was like um no nah, it wasn't even that it was the fact it wasn't even that it was like it was like um I didn't like the way, I didn't like how phony shit was in the music business and how people had the man. Back then, it was like, man, right? Uh -huh. You got, you had like gatekeepers and shit, right? Right. So say like if you, so say like if you on a, you was on a major record label, right? Mm -hmm. So man, this had, this what they do. They, they give you a budget or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then man, so out of that budget, they gonna give you like some signing money, you know what I'm saying? Maybe fifty grand, no hundred grand if it's good. And then right, 
So now they they gonna man charge money to promote you, mm -hmm. charge money to uh for your travels, for you to get back and forth for shows, all this and that. But everything they doing, they taxing you, right? They taxing. They get they, hands taxing you, hitting you upside. The right. Head. They wanna make sure you in the red. Right. <laughs> They right. trying to make sure you're in the red and you peak. Yeah, that's that's the way it's designed. Yeah. By me being from the streets, I'm like, nah, yo. I was like, Jay, hell no, nah, we don't sign you. We won't be man independent or whatever. We didn't need somebody to be that, that played a big role in why what held me back per se, because I peeped the game. It's just like like them lawyers told me, they said you a blue chip, you gonna have it hard in this business. I'm like, what the hell that mean? He like, you got too much sense. You know too much. So yeah, no, that knowing too much, it made it difficult. Or knowing, so you saying being able to peep that game, niggas start treating you with that elbow. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like, don't like bro. That. They don't like when you they know like what's it. what when you hear. And so, and so, man, I was like, you know what, man? I was like, I. I, I didn't like the phoniness of it, bro. Okay. And I was like, but what I said to myself was, the only way I ever do, be able to do this and be successful if I do it myself in my way. Okay. And you, but you gonna have to pay a price. But you gotta pay a price you for gotta that. Pay a price because you're giving up something for it. Now, like man, you gotta. How often did you think your your decision was in vain? Never. Never. never, I never second guessed it. Never, never. What? What? Never. Case? Why? 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 Because I think somebody. I know me. I even be like, damn. I'm like, come on, God. Like it seemed in the industry where it seemed like evil or negativity is winning. How do you? How did you balance that? But knowing that you was just in the class with Tupac and Biggie, them. I knew who I was. I knew who I was. Okay. Like I, before, before music, before anything, I knew who I was. Okay. You, you know what? I knew who I was, bro. And it's like a lot of people that get in this business don't really know who they is or whatever. So they go with whatever. You, I, I don't know nobody's situation. It could be money. You know what I'm saying? That man, hey, I'm poor, and man, I, I ain't never going back to that. So they okay. compromise their integrity. They do things. You, you know what I mean. Yeah. I didn't know nobody's but the whole, but me, you like nah, I'm me. I knew who I was, bro. Look, I come from, I come from a, 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 a extremely large family that love and care about me, do anything for me. Parents, I got a mob in the streets. God damn it, that that or whatever I need. Right, right. My brother's gonna make sure whatever I need. That part. So I didn't. I wasn't pressed. I wasn't pressed. It was just, and then you got to figure, I'm 22 years old. Who gives a fuck about anything at 22 years old? So did, did, did that affect or delay your recognizing or accepting you hip-hop royalty? I don't know, man. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, I can hardly hear you repeat that question. That, how does that affect how you realizing you hip-hop royalty? I just, man, I just, you know what? I always, me and Fresh always been different. We always been different. Like, like, Twister know this. The Flick know this. Do or Die know this. You know what I mean? They all know, man, Wick Wild them and they all lame, man. And he always been like that. And that's what he do. You know what I mean? So it's like, that just me. So it was that just full circle, like completely being on the streets, keep calling record with Danny Boy. Amazing. Amazing, 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 <laughs> amazing, bro, amazing. But I'm going to tell you something, right? Okay. Here it is, man. Here it is, and it's funny to me, right? This funny to me. I was around, I was around when all them made, when all them made they, they hot records, right? When, when Psycho Drum and them was making their music, whatever, I was right around, never the call. I'm the biggest thing, though. Never a call though, right? Mm. Twister doing his thing. We used to battle. Look, I knew Twister when he was Cavalier. He wasn't even called Tom Twister. His name was Cavalier. Cavalier. <laughs> he used to be Cavalier when he. I'm talking about. This was my man though. Twister was my man. We used to all meet him, 
Uh, my man Toxic, all of us used to hang out, yeah. pumpkin. We was just trying to get on. Backpack, you know, rappers and shit. This was my man, though. Right. My man get on. He don't, he don't call. He don't call, though. Nobody here with you. Wow. Right. Nobody but one person. Boo and Cold Heart. Mm. Boo, Boo from, and Cold Heart. Boo from Boo. Huh? From Crucial Conflict. Mm. Boo and Cole are the only ones that ever reached out, showed love, and guess who else? It's my favorite rap group ever in Chicago. My favorite is the Snipers. Really? The Snipers. Wow. I love the Snipers. I wish they would have been with the Snipers. We tried it. We, you know we tried. I tried to get them on the record. On the on the uh the record. Oh man, I want the Snipers on the record right now, 2023. But you know we tried to get them on the record with Wild Style. You know I tried that. Man, man, man I love the Snipers. The Snipers didn't get their shot. They didn't get their shot, man. But the Snipers was cold, they Joe. Was. They was. They was. Now, now, now we first met at the uh the tent at at, at the on Avers, right? At my annual my annual 4th of July thing I do in the hood. I bring the stage in. Ah!